tell me what you need, I'm going to pay more attention to what you're telling me to do in the trim. So I'll probably put my hand on your shoulder and kind of... I'll probably put the flop stuff before I... Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to trim it. Uh, we'll wait then. She still needs a little bit more elevator trim. Uh, we had done it a couple turns, but obviously it needs a couple more turns. It's still going up. We had set it back to neutral and did some couple twists on the elevator linkage and uh, still was going up. Later, after I got home, I found out that um, the left side of the elevator was sticking. So when the surface moved, it was moving the right one a little bit more than the left one. It look, kind of looked, kind of looked warped in a way, but it was just because the left side was sticking. So I, I worked the elevator. Now everything is straight. So hopefully. The next flight's going to be better. Hope to uh, fly her again on Saturday. You good for him to take off? I think so. Still going up a little bit. He's flying smooth now. It's pretty straight. Yeah. At full speed, it'll whistle. Oh, you don't have it turned on. Oh, I thought I did. Saturday, I need to test the uh, AS3X and um, and the safe. There's, there's the whistle. The longer we delayed it, it was that many more tries. When you said try it again, that's what works. getting a little bit windier at this point so I just use takeoff flaps. Yeah definitely in the straight sky it's not right. And I was a bit nervous so I actually touched down in the grass and then hit the runway. Some people have been worried about the front gear, but the front gear is fine. They must, they must have upgraded it. It lands real nice. Seems to be trimmed out now.
beautiful plane. I love it. <clears throat> like the A-10, not great for a gray day. It was supposed to get sunny, but it never did. That's uh.
please like and subscribe. Uh...